Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Thank you for joining us. So today we'll be talking about slab layers. This is actually a question I got when I did the cut profile video. If you haven't seen that video, check the link in the description. So most people are asking me about these layered slab. So today we'll talk about this, how to do these layers. So let's jump into it. So as you can see here on my slab, I have three layers, the top, the middle, and the bottom layer. So this is concrete, this is a blinding, and this is hardcore. So how do you go about doing this for your, mostly it's usually the ground floor slab. So how do you do this for your ground floor slab? Let's use the ground floor for this. So this is my slab. You can see it here. The 150 millimeter thick RC slab with mesh. So let's create a slab structure. Structure tab, floor, then choose your floor structure on. So you, you, you probably might have some generic slabs or uh, other types of slabs. In this case, I'll just choose a 150 millimeter thick slab. Uh, so the size doesn't matter. It can also be generic. Then I'll simply draw this. Here, just draw the slab any size for now. Then I'll finish using the green tick. So I'll just cut a section here. I'll use my slab section, cut a section here through my slab. Then I'll open the section. minimize this so you can see my slab i only have one layer i'll just change this to one is to 50 and it will level to five so i only have one layer a 150 millimeter concrete so i want to make this a multi-layered slab for my ground floor so i'll just select it edit type then i'll start by duplicating and renaming this I can call it 150 millimeter, 150 millimeter thick slab with a 142 BRC mesh. Then in your structure here, Click on edit, then you can stretch these out and turn on your preview just so that you see what is happening to your slab in real time here. So for structure, we have the first structure, concrete material. You can change this. Um, I can use concrete cast in place, class 20. So it's good practice to duplicate your material so that any changes you make to it, in case you want to go back to your default material, you can always go back to it. So just duplicate the material. You can call it um, class 20, type 2. Yeah, then um, here we need to check the graphics. So for the graphics, uh, we need to change the cut pattern since we want the cut pattern to show concrete. So cut pattern here, you can see this is a solid fill. Let's change that to concrete. Color, you can do a gray color just so that it's not too bright, too dark. 
then identity so that you can be able to tag these using your material tag it's good to give it a description i've already given mine a description 150 millimeter thick concrete slab with a 142 brc mesh then simply click apply and then okay so we have our first layer then simply insert another layer which should be at the bottom of the concrete so just press down so that it goes to the bottom of the concrete then the next layer will be about 50 millimeter thick this is the maram blinding so click on this uh, for maram i normally use sand sand so you can select sand and then duplicate duplicate sand you can call it uh, sand type type 2 also it's always good to duplicate so that you retain your original material then check your graphics yeah for the pattern use sand dense sand dense yeah for the color and give it a gray color or black if you don't mind the dark black color identity yeah i've already given it an identity 100 gauge polythene on 50 millimeter thick maram blinding then simply hit apply and then okay then add insert another layer pull it down so that it's below pull it up so that it's below sand you can see we already have two layers here so one more layer for the hardcore so for the hardcore i use alt alt check the graphics so we have a pattern here i'm using kais so for this pattern if in case you don't have uh, this pattern eg kais you can always download them free online the dot pat files dot pat files so you can find them online for kais you can search aggregate dot pat file and you can download it and simply load it from here new fill pattern custom you can load your dot part files from here browse and you can load your hatch pattern they are pattern files dot pat files you can load them here and use them for your project that's if you don't have any of these patterns here simply say okay for the color it's okay identity i'll i'll give you 300 millimeter well compacted hardcore to approve on yeah then i'll make sure to duplicate these then i'll use the earth type 2 just to maintain my original earth material in case i in case i'll need it and hit apply okay then this should be 300 so the concrete layer is the thickness of our slab 150 the sand is our maram layer which is about 50 and the earth is our hardcore layer which is also about 300 sometimes 350 yeah then for structural material we only have the concrete cast in place as the structural material so there we have it our three layers then simply click okay yeah default thickness will change and hit again apply then okay and there you have it your ground floor slab with the three layers concrete at 150 maram at 50 and hardcore at 300 thickness so there we have it so if you go back to your ground floor you can change your existing slab to the 150 millimeter thick with 150 with a 142 brc mesh then um we can do a we can do a section here can do a section we'll use the footing section we can do a section here to show our slab so we'll have a here it is 
just call it uh, tail one is to 25. We just change the detail level to fine. And there we have it. Our slab, we can annotate this now. Uh, we can do uh, break light. And we can mirror this using the grid line to the other side. We can do another break line up here. Yeah. And there you have it. So if you like, you can also do an excavated material. So there is a base I've done here fully, base B2. So you might want to achieve this exact graphic on your base. So since we've already done the slab, you can use your field region to do your earth. So I have an earth field region. If I click on edit type, you'll see the field pattern is earth, which you can now easily show here. This is for the selected excavated material. Finish using the green tick. And you can select these and simply mirror it. Simply mirror it using the grid line. And there you have it, your selected excavated material. So uh, with this line here, it doesn't really create the graphic that you would want to see for Earth. So normally you need to edit this, edit boundary, select these lines, and then make them invisible lines make them invisible lines that way. Yeah, then you can simply delete these if you have done it, then select this and mirror it again. Yeah, so that you have invisible lines. Invisible lines create a better graphic for the excavated material. Then now in your annotate tab, in the tag panel, you can click on material tag now and tag your layers. quite conveniently. So the hardcore, like that. Then this, since this is a field region, you can simply use text. I'll use Times New Roman so that it matches the text here in the tag. Then I'll simply Call these selected excavated material. There you have it. Uh, you can also add a dimension here. Yeah. Then simply double click on the 2500, the dimension, and you can replace it with text. Since it's, it's a foundation dimension, you can replace it with texts that simply says determined on site. And hit apply, okay. But you have your dimension there, showing these height will be determined on site. And there you have it. That's how you do your ground floor slab layers. And you can use your tags to annotate these slab layers. So if you edit anything on these slab layers, they'll simply edit on the material tags. These are found is the quickest and most convenient way to do your layers. Thank you for joining me for this video. I hope it, it's uh, answered. Uh, most of your questions. Join me for the next one. If you like this content, kindly like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, guys.